everyone welcome to uh, my channel a4 algorithm as part of this video we are going to discuss you know how to run commands on hdfs how to access hdfs file system how to put files on hdfs and uh, how to read file from hdfs so before going to hdfs uh, you know demo i am assuming that uh, you already have installed hadoop if you have not installed hadoop then please you know visit my videos uh, specifically the video to install hadoop follow the steps and make sure that you have hadoop installed on your machine and then you can see this video uh, let us start so uh, here uh, first thing we need to make sure is that our hadoop job uh, i mean to say our hadoop processes are running so you know i can check that by this so i can see that all my hadoop processes are running task tracker name node data node scanty name node and job tracker so for this demo i am using hadoop 1 so the same commands are applicable on hadoop 2 also so let us start then so this is the path where my hadoop is installed see if, if I just type this command then it should it's not showing me that you know there is uh, by default it is checking into user has read folder uh, you know you should get the same result with this command cool so currently there is no data in our file system in HDFS so let us create a file let us create a file on desktop hmm. okay let us put some contents in this file sample file so we'll currently we have seen that uh, we don't have any data in HDFS now let us put this file in HDFS we'll use put command for this you can use copy from local also uh, but put is short for that so I normally use put So here I have to give local file systems path desktop and then the name of our file was test file. Now I need to decide which is the location that I uh, where I want to store this and what should be the name. So I'll call it uh, my first file dot txt. So now I can see a file in user Harjit folder. Awesome. Let us see the contents of this file. This is the command, cat command, to see the content of uh, a file. Normally, you should normally you should not do cat uh, because usually the files that are sitting in HDFS are very very big so you will end up printing the whole huge file on your console so normally you should not do, uh, not do that so here uh, since I already know that the file has only few lines I can simply print it I will not face any issue
I'm sorry. I just changed the wrong Hadoop. Actually, I have multiple Hadoop versions installed on my machine. So by default, I use Hadoop 2.x. So this demo I want to do with Hadoop 1. Cool. So that's why you know I am using this path instead of uh, only using default Hadoop path. So you can see these are the contents of the file that we had. So if you have a huge file and you want to see first 10 lines, just type this. Usually this is how you use cat command with Hadoop. Yeah. Cool. So now if I want to cut paste this file to some location, then how will I do it? I will do it like this. the source location and I want to put this file at what path I want to put it at let's say new path new file dot txt okay so first we have to create a folder location folder we have to create since I had not created it earlier uh, that's why I got the error so this is how you create a folder in HDFS now we can run the move command cool so let us check this folder location let us check directly the contents of the file file into required location so if I want to we were able to move our file if I want to copy create a copy of a file then this is what I should do I should use cp command and uh, let's say I want to create this file sorry I again used Hadoop okay so this is also uh, interesting learning point that uh, if you have Hadoop 1 and Hadoop 2 both installed on your machine and by mistake you end up using uh, you know Hadoop 2's distribution to run your HDFS command and you're trying to access HDFS Hadoop 1's HDFS file system so this is the kind of command this is the kind of error that you'll get so people who have a similar situation of uh, uh, using having two locally installed Hadoop distributions uh, you know it is a good learning for them so let me correct the command So let us print this folders file. We have 
both new file.txt and new file copy.txt. So good. So if I want to get a file from HDFS file system to my local file system, so this is the command. So I just need to say get or I need to say uh, copy to local. So I prefer get because it's just a short. So I need to say I want to store it in at which path I want to store it at copy dot txt. Good. Let us see if we have got yeah we have got copy dot txt file. Let us check the contents of this file. Good. The contents are also good. Now we will delete this file. file is deleted now let us again check the contents of that folder we should not get the copy file we also have only the new file.txt we don't have new file copy.txt cool so this is uh, how you access HDFS you can you know I will share the list of other commands like if you want to copy from copy data from one cluster to another cluster if you want to merge multiple files there are a lot of other commands so just wanted to demo as part of this video that uh, how HDFS files is system should be accessed. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please share the videos. Please also share your views. Uh, how can I improve your experience of uh, you know this this channel? How can I make more uh, informative videos? Thanks for watching, guys.